Imagine going on a walk with a friend. It's a beautiful day outside, but for some reason, you're just really cold. Not only that, but your hands and feet are constantly numbed and tingly. And when your friend notices you're a bit off, their arm reaches out to you to make sure you're okay. But the minute they touch you, you feel a burning, shooting pain in that area, and you just flinch back in pain. Now, what if I told you this is a pretty normal day for many cancer patients. You see, many of them experience side effects due to their cancer treatments. And one of the most horrible ones is probably these altered sensations and pain. The problem is that no one is sure why this is even happening, hence the enigma of altered sensations. And because of that, there's currently no cure. So the goal of my PhD is to try and help these people by understanding why this side effect develops in response to so many cancer treatments. Because after all, you know what they say, the first step in finding a solution is understanding the problem. So far, what I discovered is pretty amazing. If you look at the slide, you can see neurons. These are the main players in our body when it comes to delivering signals about sensations and pain. To the left, you can see healthy, untreated neurons. And to the right, you can see neurons that were exposed to cancer treatments. You can see they didn't grow as densely or as further away as the healthy, untreated neurons. These defects in their growth can affect their functionality and their ability to accurately deliver signals about sensations and pain. This can explain why so many patients are experiencing these side effects in response to their cancer treatment. This is only one of the many changes that I discovered throughout my PhD. And I'm putting all these changes together in order to receive the bigger picture of what is happening to these patients. And this is crucial because, as I mentioned before, it's the first step in finding a cure. These results can be used in order to develop new drugs that would target these changes in order to alleviate the pain. We can also use these results in order to design new therapies that will be given together with current cancer treatments and protect certain areas that we know are being damaged. By doing so, we'll be able to prevent the development of the side effect to begin with. Imagine if we managed to do that and solve the enigma of altered sensations. That would mean that millions of cancer patients won't have to live in daily and debilitating pain because of their cancer treatment. Instead, they would be able to maintain a good quality of life whilst defeating this horrible disease.